Okay, so I figured I'd make a quick video on how to get X-Plane 12 running on Linux Kubuntu. So after you purchase the game through Steam and download it, what happened for me at least, you're gonna try to you're gonna click on the play button and it's gonna immediately come up with an error saying something about your Mesa drivers are not up to date. So what you have to do is manually go into the command line and force it to update. So the first thing you have to do, you have to go to this website, it's foss.com, and I'll paste the link to this video in the description. And you can read through it yourself, but the main things you need to worry about, you can scroll down here. This is the first command you're going to need to run, this glx info pipe grep mesa. So just for an example, I'll type this in just so you guys can see the output. I've already done these, so we'll type it in here glx info space pipe space grep space mesa and this command shows you that your current mesa drivers so since, since i already updated that i'm already at 22.1.7 i think initially i was at 20.0 point something and what may happen to this may not let you type it in it may come up with an error saying to install mesa type in sudo apt install just type in that and you should be able to run the grep command and you'll be able to see which version you're running so after you've done that once you found out that you're actually non-compliant with your mesa driver version you're going to scroll down here these are the three important commands you need to know right here and you're going to type these in to this command line just like you did the previous one. You can copy and paste them too if you want. So you're going to type in sudo add apt repository space ppa colon kissack slash kissack dash mesa. That's going to add your repository. Once that's done you can continue on with this command sudo apt update. That's going to install some things, and the last one is sudo apt upgrade. That's going to install some things also. And you're going to type those in to this command line interface just like you would normally. So that's what the issue was when I tried to play X-Plane. As soon as I install all those, I clicked the play button, and it worked perfectly fine. So hopefully it should work for everyone else too. So that should be about it. Thanks for watching.